Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I thought we would just take a look at some of the whole stuff that's been revealed about Prey now moving forwards. Uh, this is of course the latest in the Predator franchise. It's set in the past. It's a prequel. Loads of people keep saying it's a reboot. It's not. It's not at all. There's, there's no... Nothing to indicate this is a reboot in any way, shape or form. No one said it's a reboot officially. Don't understand why. It literally connects to Predator 2. Weird. Weird to say it's a reboot just because it's a new movie. Can we stop this trend? But one thing which has been revealed, loads of really cool behind the scenes stuff, which is really compelling. It looks amazing, but it also makes you go, why did you do that then? So the, the face of the Predator is like a big point of contention, right? Like we, we can all agree that the face of the Predator looks a bit dumb, looks a little bit off. You know, it looks like he's got learning difficulties, right? And I don't, don't take offense to that. Come the fuck down. But what they did do is they CGI'd over the top of a really good practical mask. Like a really good practical mask. And I just go, why did you do that? Like, what are you doing? Like, look at this. Like, I need you to see this. Like, look at this. Look how amazing this is. You know, look at that. That's, that's just fucking great. But they put some sort of CGI render over the top of it. Now, again, whatever you think of the face, you know, we can all agree it does look a bit dumb. I don't mind it, you know, like, it does look a bit dumb, but there's some logic to it. They've thought it through. The creature design has come out, revealed quite a lot of stuff. But why do you CGI over the top of it, bud? Why? Like, what are you doing? This looks great. This looks really good. And then we scroll down, and you're like, what? Like, so why do you CGI over the top? Practical is always better. And not only that, they've, they've done a really, um, like, a side-by-side -side comparison. Look at this. And so this is obviously the CGI one, and you can see that there's a layer over the top. Why did you do it? It's so strange. You just, you just, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why you would do that. Now, is that, I guess, to manipulate the eyebrows a bit more? But then why? Why would you do that? It adds this sort of soft touch to the face. Like, if you look at the side here, it looks very rough, you know? Like, it looks... I mean, it looks real. It looks tangible. It looks like a tough skull. And then you look over this side, and look at the top there. It's all shiny. Oh, you can't even look at... There you go. Here's my mouse. Look at the top here. All shiny and glistening. Very weird. And then you can see that they animate the eyebrows. Look as it turns. And then... Oh, eyebrows pop up. You see? Ah, weird decision. Weird, weird, weird decision. Weird. It doesn't make any sense why you would smooth it all out. Practical is so much better. It's always better. And and this, this is really good. I think this would have actually looked miles better in the film. Like, actually, miles, miles better. And one of the big complaints of this film was the CGI. Um, and, and again, right? <coughs> Excuse me, recovering from the Rona. Uh, one of the things which I found... You know, really, really interesting about this is the attention to detail. I mean, look at this. So you CGI over the top of it. And yet you've made the mask so accurate, you've actually got the inlay where all the senses go for the guy's skull. Why would you ruin it? With dumbass CGI. Isn't that weird, ladies and gents? I don't know, for me, it's just very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. You go to such great lengths to make an amazing design. I mean, this is just incredible. Look at that. The attention to detail there is just staggering. I mean, that's the inside of the mask. No one's going to see that. But they did it anyway. And this is obviously bone, or the bone structure, you know, with the, the inlay in there. I mean, that, that's truly incredible. Oh, yeah, but guys, what we really need to do is uh, 
CGI over the top of it because that's that's what you do in it. We 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 need it to look like like he's I don't know like a bloated maggot for a forehead. So weird, so weird. And there's some really cool stuff like the behind the scenes stuff. The attention to detail is great on this film. But I just think what you know when is a studio going to learn? I mean they they obviously spent money on that. <coughs> they spent money CGIing over the top. Right? Why are you doing that? Save your budget. We all want practical. Stop it. Stop spaffing money up the wall on absolute trash. Right? Which no one wants. No one wants to... You know, we don't want CGI Predators. We want real ones. Right? We want to see the real practicality behind it. It's just weird that that's the choice that they would make. I mean, that suit's great. So good. So, yeah, a bit of a bittersweet video, I guess. Because they just they did some really cool stuff and then made some dumbass choices as well. Stop with the CGI, ladies and gents, please. No one wants to see it. No one's interested in it. It costs more money, so just bring it down. You know, bring the budget down by, stop, by stopping nonsense money being spaffed up the wall. On dodgy, and this is dodgy ass CGI, right? Like, your budget's not good enough anyway, and then you did this with it. Why are you doing that? I'm friends of the channel Dangerville, are like, this is so much better than the bad CGI we got in the film. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. We don't. Proto fans don't want CGI, they want practical. Practical looks better, it always does, always has done. Just leave us with the practical stuff. We, we, our brain will fill in the blanks. Right? That's what happens. Your brain fills in the blanks. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. And again, I like this film. I like this film a lot. But these dumb decisions need to be called out. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me by my graphic designer. We, of course, have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, t-shirts we've got space jeebus uh, and then for something a little bit different we of course have right down at the bottom right here we have our pulsar gtir also ladies and gentlemen consider checking out and supporting my second channel which is car nonsense this is a vlog and car channel you can find links to this in the description box along with my teespring please do consider supporting